Well, if you're a regular viewer of the show, you may have noticed I've been looking a little rough around the edges in recent weeks. I've been letting the beard grow, not as much as a fashion statement, than as a personal reminder to take my physical therapy serious. I'm no stranger to knee surgeries, and this fall was my fifth. And ever since that first knee reconstruction all the way back in high school, I've been struck with just how difficult it is to get around with a disability. Everything from doors to just the smallest of steps can be a real challenge. So when a group of disabled Oklahomans invited us to roll with them one afternoon to see what life is like in their chairs, we sent our Horizon intern, Delia Davis, out to give it a spin. Getting around town is a challenge, especially when walking is not an option. That's why an Oklahoman tries to change attitudes by letting people know what it's like to wheel around. Paul Carton is the program founder. So it's been very satisfying. It's been hard work, but it's been very satisfying. So Carton invited us and state lawmakers to spend an afternoon getting just a glimpse into some of the struggles of those differently abled. State Representative Paul Wesselhoff. You can visualize doing this, but until you actually do it, you don't realize what the challenges are. You just think you know what the challenges are. From accessibility to even respect, everything is different when you're rolling on wheels. The parking uh, situation has always been a problem for us. And uh, I, I've really had good success and luck being inside of restaurants with people that are friendly and, and willing to, to help. But it, it, every once in a while, you, you find places that think you're more of a hindrance than a, a, a help. To better understand what it's like to be disabled, I too decided to take the challenge. The most challenging thing I had to do was get up and down the ramp and get inside the restaurant and the restroom. The restroom was really difficult to get into being that the door swung in and they say if it swings out it would be easier access to the bathroom and sitting in this chair for hours upon hours it's difficult because it's it's not cushioned so it actually does hurt and to be able to go to a restaurant and not be able to sit at a booth because you can't be inside the the walkways because it's a fire hazard and they have to have a table and tables aren't available for you it does get challenging. When you're rolling a mile on someone else's wheels, you find out that even the simplest things are suddenly difficult. And it's those challenges that the lawmakers work each year to try and eliminate by creating laws that include the disabled needs. Disabled parking has been our, our big challenge um, and increasing the fines there. But the problem that we've run into is we have the fines in place, but the municipalities are doing one of two things. One, they either ignore it and don't even issue a fine, or if they issue a fine, they don't, they don't make it the maximum that it could be. Now sometimes people stare when they see a person who is different from them, yet no one stops to think, that could be me. One split second, one wrong decision, one accident, and you're in a chair for the rest of your life. We are all only temporarily able-bodied. Sooner or later, we all face either a wheelchair or a cane or some other disability. We are all only temporarily able-bodied. Making accessibility important everywhere we go.